Okay, so I'm Vladimir Yovanovich, and I am a senior here at SMU. And you know, I'm a computer science and psychology double major. And as I was just introduced, I'm going to present to you my device that I call the non-visual depth perception device. So I created this device for a little thing that we do at our school called the innovation competition. Basically, a bunch of students come up with really creative ideas, and a panel of judges decide which ones should be given money and turned into a prototype. So right here, you can see an image of my prototype that I call Midas, after the Greek goddess of wisdom. So basically, I created this uh, device, and I actually happened to win the competition. So yay me. <laughs> so this device basically gives you eyes in the back of your head. It lets you feel by vibrations to your neck if someone's approaching behind you. The idea is kind of like a, an advanced porch light, if you will. You know, if something comes in within eight feet of you, this device is able to figure out where it's coming from, and then it's able to tell you by vibrating against your neck uh, where it's approaching. So in this case, there are four parts to my device. You know, obviously we have a power supply because everything needs electricity. And then we have the Connect sensor, which I'm sure plenty of you have played with on the Xbox 360. So this device, this camera is actually able to figure out uh, basically an image with a lot of different values, letting them know how far away each part in the image is. That's, that gets sent to a computer, and the computer figures out basically how far away that is and determines if, it's, if it came within the eight foot range. If it did, then it tells the motors on these straps to activate. So uh, an example that you might encounter is, let's say someone walks behind you and they're about four feet behind you. So they'll come from, from behind you to the right and walk across to the left. What you'll feel is these motors will start activating on the right side of your neck and slowly start activating going across to your left. So feel like the person's actually walking on your neck. So you might be wondering how I came up with this device. Um, I basically, in fourth grade, I saw some news article about something called the brain port, which was a camera that connects by a special tape to your tongue. And what it allows you to do is actually see what the camera sees through electri electrical shocks to your tongue. It actually allows blind people to actually see with their tongue. And how it does it is basically just has every pixel that it sees, depending on the brightness, will actually go on the taste buds and just electrocute it just a bit more than the other ones. And blind people, after using this device, are actually able to identify objects to actually move around using this little camera that just keep, they keep in front of themselves. And so this idea is actually called sensory augmentation. It's the idea of taking one source of information, you know, what the camera sees, and giving it to your body in a different method, in this case, through your tongue. Mine does the same thing. It gives you depth perception of what's going on behind you and gives it to you by the sense of touch on your neck. And of course, the more you use these devices, what ends up happening is it becomes intuitive to you, much like riding a bicycle. You know, before when you first started out, if you remember, you know, you had to keep your balance, figure out where you were going. You would look up, look back, look up, look down, look up, down. And if you were like me by then, you would already fall. So what happens is after, after you know, let's say a few months of riding your bicycle, it becomes second nature. nature. You don't even have to think about it anymore. So this is actually how you would wear a device. It's basically like a backpack with the straps going across your neck, and you'll be able to actually see it on the ninth floor and try it out. And you know how, what I primarily wanted to use this for was first, uh, more for a defensive uh, device. Basically, I was thinking, you know, people on patrols like officers or soldiers, you know, it would be very helpful for them if they knew if someone was trying to attack them from behind. But of course, it can also be used in a more friendly manner. You know, for SWAT teams, they can actually uh, use this device to keep track of all their friends when they're going into a, a building so they can tell basically where all the teammates are and if someone new is approaching them and they can just have better unit cohesion. But of course there are you know, regular everyday uses for this device. Pedestrians can use this to figure out if someone's coming from behind them. I know I needed this device as recently I was actually this semester a bicyclist hit me from behind and if I had this device, I would have known that the person was approaching from the left instead of the right, and all I would have had to do, just stepped away, and everything would have been fine. Instead, I got a bunch of scabs, not fun. Um, and then, of course, motorcyclists can use this same uh, sort of idea. They can wear this device and see if the camera is approaching them, uh, if the cars are approaching them from behind. People in wheelchairs can use this also to navigate better. 
and the elderly can actually put this device in front of them to have better depth perception. So here's actually just kind of a, a 3D image of my, uh, my prototype and how I want it to go. You know, I would like it to be a much smaller fact, much smaller form, something that's you know, a lot more discrete than what is right now. What I really want to you know, tell you guys is that this is technology that you'll see basically grow once you get into college and once you start working on the workforce. We're used to technology that we use our fingers, our hands, our eyes, our ears to control and to use to you know, manipulate the world. We're starting to use you know, engineering and psychology and combining the two to give you a technology that actually gives you a new sense awareness. We have technology that gives you the ability to learn more about the world and perceive it much differently than we ever had or could before. So thank you, and I hope you guys try out my device. <laughs>